Hello everybody, and did you know, you can easily convert an image into its line art version inside Stable Diffusion very, very easily. And here's how to do it. So first, you're simply gonna generate a random image. So here's mine, it looks really, really good, but now if I want to convert that same image into a line art version, here's how to do it. So first, you're gonna send this image to the Image to Image tab, and here you're gonna replace that image with a white background. So just click on the X button, upload the white image that you either created yourself or that you found on Google, it doesn't really matter, as long as it's white. Then you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna choose the same width and height of your previous image, so in my case it was 608 by 768. Then you're gonna increase the denoising strength to something like 0.95 or more. Then inside ControlNet you're gonna upload the image that you want to convert it to a line art version. So in my case it was this one. Then here you're gonna choose the Kani preprocessor and the Kani model. And of course, don't forget to enable the control net. And then finally, in the prompt, you're gonna replace your prompt by a line drawing, line art, line work. And this prompt will be in the description down below, so you can just copy and paste it. And then finally, you can click on generate. And this is the final result, a very beautiful line art drawing of our base image. And if you decide that there isn't enough details in the drawing, here's what you can do. If you want a little bit more details in the line art, in control net, you can increase the guidance start a little bit to something like 0.5. The higher this value, the more details it will capture in the line art image. So for example, with only 0.05, if I click on generate, it gives me something like this, which if you compare it to the previous one, this is the previous one, and this is the one with 0.05. As you can see, there is now a little bit more details. And again, if you want even more details, you can increase this value even further. But also don't forget that the more you increase this value, the more gray your image will be. For example, this is 0 for the guidance start, this is the image with 0.05, this is with 0.09, and this is with 0.2. So as you can see, we have more details, but at the same time, we're also losing a little bit of contrast. And of course, if you want to have more details onto your image, you can use this special impeding trick. So for this, you're gonna click on Send to Extras, choose the language of Scanner, click Generate, then you're gonna send it to Inpaint, you're gonna choose your brush, and then you're gonna impaint an area that you want to change. Then you're gonna select Only Masked, choose a high resolution, so something above 768 by 768, select a low denoise strength to something like 0.2, and then click Generate. And this is the result. And of course, if you compare it to the previous image, the face is now definitely way more detailed. And of course, you can use this trick with every part of our body. Just send it back to Inpaint, then Inpaint another area of our body, and then click Generate again. And this is the final result, which again, if you compare it to the previous line on a version, it has way more details. Also, if you feel like this image is a little too grey for you, here's what you can do. You're gonna right click on this image, then click copy, then you're gonna go on a website like photopea.com, click on new project, click create, then you're gonna paste your image, then you're gonna click on new adjustment layer, and choose levels. And here, if you play around a little bit with the sliders, you can actually increase or decrease the contrast of the black line art to have only black line appear and nothing else. To something like this, for example. Obviously, this highly depends on what you're trying to do. And if for some reason you see some color artifacts here and there, you can just click right here on New Adjustment Layer and then select Black and White. And as you can see, our image is now fully black and white. And if you want to simulate, for example, a blue pencil sketch drawing, here's what you can do. Here you're gonna select a blue color that you like, so something like this, for example, then click OK, then you're gonna click on New Layer, then click here on the Gradient Tool, and click again to select the Pen Bucket Tool, then you're gonna click on the image to fill the entire image with blue, and here on the layers, you're gonna change from normal to screen. And now as you can see, our black and gray line art are transformed into a beautiful blue pencil sketch drawing, which you can of course adjust later using the levels adjustment layer. So that's really a super cool trick. So as you can see, we easily went from a base image to a black and white line art image to a beautiful blue pencil sketch drawing. So definitely try this out yourself, it's really cool. Alright, see you later, bye bye!